wow, what a game. I mean, that was just unnecessarily good. Uh, the, the Boston game yesterday was really close as well. Went to overtime. Obviously, Boston walked away with the win. And I there, there were points in the fourth quarter today where I thought the same was going to happen in the Minnesota game. You know, the Timberwolves got off to a really fast start, and then Dallas was right there with them. Uh, I think this game shows how dangerous the Mavs can be. I mean, Luka and Kyrie were just on today. Luka shot a really high amount of shots, and, and his efficiency probably wasn't as good as it should be, but they walk away with the win, and Kyrie had the game of the playoffs for him. He looked phenomenal, and uh, I think that moving forward, that combination could be deadly. Uh, there is one person that we need to talk about, though. Jaden McDaniels. I mean, that first half, I think he scored 19, 20 in the first half. He scored five i think he shot five three straight and didn't miss uh ended six from eight from three just really good i think the problem now is how do you get him more in the game in the second half he he collected a few fouls and they were in trouble and i think that's when the game really turned and uh you know obviously anthony edwards and cat both struggled um from the field but I think to stay in touch as close as they were in that game with both of their, like two of their, their main stars uh, who provide most of their points struggling, it's good to see that they have, they have that depth. They have that ability to score outside of just those two. Walking away, going into game two, how do you feel about it? I mean, for me, I think that this could go to another seven games, another seven game series. And on the Eastern Conference side, Pacers and, and Boston, we'll see how that game goes tomorrow. But I think it could be a, a five, six, seven game series as well. And ultimately, I think so many young players are, are looking to to make their mark. I thought I thought Anthony Edwards in, in the third and the start of the fourth quarter, he just got so quiet. And he's been, he's been compared to Michael Jordan a lot. And all I could think to myself was Michael Jordan to be taking shots here, Michael Jordan to be doing this, Michael Jordan to be doing that. And then he went two back-to-back, -back, I think, back-to-back -back three-pointers, uh, put his team back, the, grabbed the momentum. Um, they went on a 13-1 to one run, and all of a sudden it was a game again. So I think that coming out of this game, I think both teams take a lot of confidence into game two. Obviously, Minnesota has to steal a game back on the road now, which is never easy in Dallas, but... Uh, if you had to pick a team to do it, it would be these young Timberwolves. I mean, Anthony Edwards has stood up to every challenge that has been put in front of him, I feel. Uh, and I, I, I wouldn't feel more confident with any other player in the NBA at the moment. I think he's just raring to go and, and it'll be interesting. Uh, what do you guys reckon? I'm saying seven game series and Dallas takes it away. Luka Doncic just proving again why he's probably the most elite point guard in the game at the minute I, I think it's hard to go past him so yeah let, let me know in the comments what you guys think but what a game what a what a game and uh yeah what what did Dallas do about Jaden McDaniels they just keep forcing him to foul out and and are they able to to contain it Ant for, for as long as they have, as long as they did today at least. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think.